Today is June 8th, 2022. It is a Wednesday, and today I'm going to try to replicate these pencils over here. So I'll start by... One second. Okay, I'll start by pressing on this cube here, pressing X, and then delete. I'll do Shift A, Mesh, and then go to Cylinder. I will shrink this. Actually, I'll go to Front View by pressing the button under the Escape key and then hovering over the front. And then I'll press S and then X to scale it on the X axis, which is the red axis. And then I will go back here and you'll see that it's a little off. And so to fix that, the same scale that you did on the X axis, you want to copy and paste it on the Y. So it becomes something like this. Go back to front view and then just press S and Z or Z to scale on the Z axis, which is the um, blue axis. And let me see one thing. Okay, yeah. so at this point, I'm going to zoom in at the top over here and do the same over here to kind of replicate this. Um, I'll do, I'll go to edit mode by clicking on tab or you can click on top left here, this little corner and click on the toggle, the toggle and then go to edit mode. Then I'll click on face select, which is this little button over here. Then select the face only and then I'll do back to front view by pressing the button under the escape key. E to extrude and then Z to extrude on the blue axis and then I'll just extrude a little bit like that and then what I'll do is without touching anything I will um, press S and then just shrink it up like that and maybe I should do something like this and then I'll do E and extrude on the Z again and then I'll shrink I'll press s and then scale something like that so it looks like like that right um okay well that's it and um I'm not sure that I could do like the little squiggly lines like yeah I'm not there yet let's see what else am I missing okay so now I'll probably just do like, um, I'm not even sure. I'll go and make this its own thing. So I'll do Alt Z, right? And then I'll select this and click P by selection. And then I'll call this um, the top. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll go into edit mode, Alt, and then, not Alt, I mean select, right? Um, and then I'll do P selection. And then I'll call this middle. And then um, the rest over here, I'll just call it the bottom, which is, you know, the bottom, the pencil, whatever. Maybe we should add an eraser, but it's not really a pencil. It's, um, it's a, what's it called again? Uh, a color pencil. So, okay. So then everything, I'll just right click, shade smooth, right click, shade smooth, right click, shade smooth. All right. Um, this is probably not shade smooth, actually. No, never mind. So, do something like that and then it really is looking like crayon right now whatever um oh you know what i could have done i could have gone here and then every other is there any way to select every other edge and i could have just like inset it eh, whatever it's okay we can have a cylinder for now um all right and then what i'll do is i'll select everything and do shift D and then kind of just move it up a little bit. So I'll do G and then X to move it like a little bit to the right here. And then G, Z and move it up a little bit like that. Do shift D, G, X, G, Z. Shift D. G, X, G, Z, Shift, D, G, X, G, Z, by the way, Z is D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, G, X, over here, and then, Three, four, five, six, seven. All right, and then back to object mode. I think we were in object mode. And
anyway. Oh my god, wait. It's not that they were... Why am I like this? Okay, I have to go to each and every single one of them and just make them longer. Okay, um, so I'll go into edit mode, face select, and then I'll select the bottom face here, and I'll just do G and then Z and just grab it until it's like on the floor. I'll do the same thing for this one. G, Z, grab it. Um, here, grab the bottom face, G, Z, grab this. Probably, I don't even know, honestly. You know what I'll do? I'll do Shift A and I'll do a plane. I'll scale it to five, scale it actually a little bit more, bring it GZ down, and I'll actually turn on snapping. I'll do Shift Tab to turn on snapping. Another way you could do that is by pressing up here, this little magnet button, and it'll snap to the face, right? And then I'll do GZ, and when it does that, it just snaps to the face uh, here at the bottom. So now, when I go into edit mode and I click face, whoa, 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 one second, GZ, right there, okay, let's say I go here, face select, GZ, now I'll go all the way to the bottom, and same thing for this one, so edit mode, or select it, GZ, and I'll go to the bottom here, edit mode, select the space at the bottom, I can't even see if it's selected, let me do alt Z to see, alt Z is basically, um, um, an x-ray. Okay, one second. Alright, where are we? So, um, I'll go back into object mode, switch into this one, edit mode, select the space, G, Z, until it's at the bottom. Go back to object mode, select this one, G, Z, the object mode. It's already on the floor already, just in case though. It seems like it's a little off. GZ. Alright, moving on. Turn off the x-ray toggle, which you can do the same by clicking on this right x-ray transparent thing through there. Um, I'm going to do Control s to save. Um, what's the base date? 6, 8, 22. Save Blender file. Alright, and then hopefully that doesn't... Um, what do you call it? What do you call it? Um, fail? Fall? I can't think today. I can't even. Um, freeze or whatever. I don't even know. Go to material viewport thingy. I don't even know. I don't know my vocabulary today. Um, what was I gonna do? I was gonna go here and I was gonna use my color picker to get those cup. Are you kidding? Alright, I was like, whoa. Alright, and then I'll get these colors. So it's like green. Well, it's actually this green. It's just dark lighting. And so I'll go to Material, Properties, New, and then I'll go to Base Color, and then go to Hex, and then I'll just paste that color in there. So it's 119615. Um, um, it looked very, like, thick. We're going to have to fix that. It looks very thick. So maybe I'll select this and this, and scale it, let me go back to front view, and scale it on the X. Maybe something like that. And then I'll do properties on the X, I'll do the same on the Y so that it looks round. Is that better? And then this top should be the same color. Whoa, that's not what I said. What? Um, copy, paste. Okay. Um, all right, so I'll go back to this one and I'll go to object properties and then just copy this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Copy this scale into everything here. Also, and scale. Well, I'll do the X here, Y here. Probably not what I wanted to do right now, but whatever. Oh, this sucks. 
Alright, let's... What? That looks so weird. I'm literally so confused. Okay, so ugh, I can't believe I have to do this again. Um, I'll just go here to the X and I'll give the same scale to each thing. What do you call it? Each, um, um, and I don't even know. I can't use words today. Alright, and then this has a scale of 0 0.361 or whatever. I think it stays the same, does it not? No, not really. Oops, wrong. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you kidding me? Alright, and this has a scale of this, whoa, of that. Did I just delete it? Alt, H. What was I going to do again? Okay. This is very repetitive. But isn't that great? All right, and then what I'll do at this point is um, I'll just select, you know what, I'm so irritated right now, the tab, vertex, and then I'll select these three and then do G, X, and just select over this vertex here, select these three parts, G, X, and then hover over the vertex over here. Select these three parts, G, X, and then hover over the vertex here. Vertex you can think of as a corner. So G, X, hover over the vertex. Select the three parts here. G, X, and hover over the vertex here at the, the prior pencil. All right, and then I still think these are like really not okay right now. Like it's not, I did too much should probably honestly I don't even care at this point we're moving on um all right and then what am I doing again so next color is this blue so go here material properties click on new base color hex paste that in there new base color hex paste that in there and then the next color is yellow. So go here, new, base color, hex, paste that there. New, base color, hex, paste that in there. That does not look yellow. Next color is pink. Am I blind? Is that pink or... You know what? I don't even know. Alright, and then... Base color, hex. Jesus Christ. Okay, on orange. New base color, hex. Put that in there. Here, new. I should have just done... Oh, there was an easier way to do this, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Copy, new base color, such such a very muted red. All right, 
so now to the fun part um this was the fun part okay um what's it saying color pencil it's saying color pencil so i'll do shift a and i'll do oh my god i should have i'm messing up so much right now okay text right and then what did i say i was gonna do object properties rotate on the 90 and then rotate this on negative 90 so it's like that um probably scale it down a little bit um let's see go into edit mode change what it says i'll change it so that it says color pencil all right and then i'll just scale it a little bit down gz have it somewhere a little bit down here oop turn off snapping by pressing shift tab all right have something like that oh now you can't even see it great so let me see where the heck i had it all right so text so you can see that it's obviously like in the middle of the uh color pencil thing like yeah so basically how to get it um to wrap around the actual color pencil um is you want to go to modifiers add modifier and then do shrink wrap and then you want to wrap it to the target over here and it's gonna look weird but you just have to change it to project and it will project and then also you might let me go to escape and maybe move it gx a little bit over here and then you might want oh my god you're kidding me and you might want to do okay so control a right or not okay great we don't do that so apparently we don't do that oh you know what i should have done just shift d and then g on the x here and then shift d g on the x here as well and then for this over here um i have to go target are you kidding me And then this one over here, and just change the target so that you could actually see it. One second. GX, move it here, change the target to be this one, and then shift D, GX, move it here, change the target to be this one, and then notice how it's not really like seeing through. So we could also add a solidify modifier. Alright, and then I'll do an add modifier, solidify again. Um, by the way, make sure that it's offset set to one, and then offset set to one, and then probably change this to be um. Oops. Change it for the right side like that. Alright, and a little bit more until you kind of see that. It's already full. Okay, perfect. And then we'll do the same thing here. So, all right, do the same thing here. So I did what? Zero point zero seven. All right, and then over here, add modifier, solidify modifier change it to 0 0.07 so thickness is 0 0.07 and one so that it goes forward and not like backwards um another add modifier solidify um 0 0.07 and then change to one what i should have done even thickness whatever all right um wait there's a little problem here maybe do gx a little bit like that all right, 
Um, and then do solidify modifier. Zero, well, what is that? 0 0.07. Change offset to 1. Um, and then over here, add a modifier. Solidify. Change offset to 1. Changes to 0 0.07. Alright, and then we have that going on for us. And I noticed that it's actually black and it's also very like cursive. So I'll go to this one. Actually, no, I should have done. Is there any way to join these? Um No. What? Alright, and then what I'll do is I'll go to Object Data Properties, which is a little A over here. I'll go to Font, and then I'll try to go here to the File icon, and try to find a font that's quite the same as the one that I just saw, which is kind of like cursive, but it's like thick cursive. Hmm. Maybe something like that. I guess. I could also go here to size and change it so it's one point two five. I'll do the same here. And change the font to whatever font I just clicked. I don't even remember what it was. What was it? This? So. Are you serious? Which one did I click? I'm done paste in here, open font, select this one. What's it gonna do? Okay, it's not open font. Oh, I don't know. Font. All right, so at this point, um, we go here to material properties, go to the color. Okay, this is so irritating because I, it's so repetitive. Maybe I could just, object. What does make local do? So if I were to go here and turn it black, it won't turn it black. Great, I need it to be so that they're together. Whatever. All right, I'll turn each black. All the way down. I also notice that it's um a very it's like thick like the font. What? 
Let's see. Base color black. All right. Now that we have that, um, I'll go over here. Shift A, mesh, add a plane. I'll go to object data properties, and then um, I'll rotate this 90 degrees. Scale it up a little bit like this. G X to move here, and then scale it on the Z, something like that. G actually not three. Let's do S X. Do some sort of background like that and then let's go to material properties and just make it a black background all right now I'm going to do control s and then I'm going to go to rendered preview and I'll go to render properties and um, I'll do cycles instead of e. and then what I'll do is I'm pretty sure I have light somewhere here there is a light somewhere okay whereas I just saw it um right here and i'll go to um object data properties and make it a gun and then turn it to five and um what oh and then i'll rotate it i have to move it in front so wait i have to do g y and then rotate it I'm so I'm so lost right now. Like, where am I? Okay, rotate it this way. That way. Nope. The other way. What is going on? All right. So notice the light is being it's red. So I have to zoom in out. Let me go to top view. Actually, D. Um, X. Let me do um material preview. That's better. And then rotate it this way and then G X so that it hits it kind of like that maybe G Y move it over here and then um, R for rotate by the way so the light kind of hits it like that and then let's see how it looks like in cycles yeah it looks too um, kind of like that. So maybe just straight down to two, or maybe not. I don't know. How about I just do R something for G X or G Y? Turn it like a little bit farther away. G Z G X to the left. Rotate it a little bit. Downwards. I don't even know. Rotate it downwards. R. Rotate downwards. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, last thing is I have to find like a wooden um like cork um material because I'm not doing that by hand. So I like to go to AngryGamesCG.com. And try to figure my life out here. Um, so materials, right? And then I kind of search up like cork, something like that. And then I download 2K, doesn't really matter. And then I will go to my desktop and then just copy that in here. What just happened? Okay, so here. Reset all in here, go to my desktop, right click, um, exit out of here, right click, why is it not doing anything? Okay, new folder, call it cork, and then I'll just put that in there. So this is a um, a texture setup. So what we'll do is we'll go to shading. What what the heck am I doing? All right. Okay. 
do we have? Oh yeah, okay. So we'll go to shading. And shading is at the top, by the way. And I'll take the little dot off. And then once in shading, what I'll do is um, I'll go up here and I'll just select the middle part and then I'll click on new and then I'll click on the principal BSDF which was which is the green um, node here and then I'll do control shift T and by the way that won't work if you do not have your node wrangler on so to turn it on you go to edit preferences you go to add-ons and then you want to search up over here node wrangler and this should be checked off right here or checked on all right, and then you go to wherever you have your PBR texture. So in my case, it's my desktop and I have it in a folder called Cork. And so I just hover over or select all of them and it's now selected. Okay, there we go. Okay, and this one, shift, shift and select and then principal texture setup and then it should pop up there in one second. All right, and it's looking pretty weird. I mean, I guess that's fine. I don't know. I rather than I feel like it's very streaky instead of like quirky, but I guess that's fine. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll just um, give it the same material. I just have to figure out. I have to give it a name. So I'm gonna call this um, quirk, and then I'll go here and give each one the quirk. No, 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 no. I'll go here to material and just give the quirk material instead of repeating that same step all the time. All right. All right, and then now we can move back to layout mode. Control S. Um, I can delete this and then go to what do you call it again. Um, render preview, and I'll just go to front view kind of do something like that. Maybe what I'll do is I'll take this, I'll scale it on the Z a little bit more and scale it on the X a little bit more also. And then I could just move this way. Um, I'll hover over this edge over here and click join areas and go this way. And then um, I'll make sure my, and then I'll, I'll, wait, hold on. Let me go to render properties real quick. Go to light paths, turn light to four and interact to so and do control alt no sorry 